Cleveland. Oh, welcome back to New Day Cleveland. We got a lot going on in studio right now, and I got to bring my guest over here with me. She's Ooh. still setting up. If you're looking to add some holiday cheer, though, to your home, I've got the place for you and the person for you. We are talking about Boyard's Greenhouse and Farm in Medina for all of your holiday needs. So she's going to be in here for just a minute. But first, before we talk about the great things that they have here, let's check out their location. When customers come into Boyer's at Christmas time, the biggest thing we create is an experience. When you walk through here at, at Christmas, all homes are full of ornaments, love, happiness, and all the good things, but it's the ideas. The ideas such as everybody can buy has ornaments, but we give that extra little thing that how to decorate a tree, make it a little cooler, give you some ideas of how to use picks, uh, different um, sticks, cones, the whole thing that brings out that life in that Christmas tree to make it either more, more natural or uh, just give it a better, uh, a better look. Um, not that you're not doing it the right way at home, but this helps out and gives a lot of good ideas. The other thing we like to do is a lot of people are looking for those little things to put around their home on tables, tops of their cabinets, their fireplaces, um, and when you come here, you see a lot of different things like that. We have a lot of other elves in here that are involved in it, and a lot of it is family. Uh, and if you're not a family member, we treat you as a family member. And we all have the kind of same concepts and ideas that we want to create this winter wonderland when you walk in here that uh, you say, wow, uh, it's, what an experience, what, a, what, what great ideas. I can take, I can do this, I can take it home. You know, we not only have the gift shop to help you decorate your homes, we have uh, our greenhouses full of all kinds of neat and cool, uh, not just poinsettias, but ferns and ivies and different types of topiary trees that you can create fireside baskets. You can create that little gift to give to somebody as a teacher, a friend. Um, it's not just a pot sitting in a, in a, in a, uh, on a table, it's, uh, it's we're creating something cool with life. And so these plants that we have here are from all over the country. And when we bring them in, we put our little added touch to it, put a little greens, pop a little uh, uh, extra love into it. When they take it home, it's pretty neat. When you go to the back, that's our Santa's workshop, we call it. And there's a few elves back there every day. It's a spot that four or five of us don't leave. And when we're back there, we're creating that outdoor living experience for you. Uh, for your porches, your patios, your windows. Uh, a lot of the different things that uh, when uh, you're setting up that mindset in October, remember, what am I gonna do to my house this year for Christmas? If you come on in, we're gonna give you a lot of cool ideas. We have the newest fads and ribbons, colors. And one of the things that we see more than anything else in our business is plaids are still in and uh, probably half of the bows that I, we make for our outside decorations have that plaid and red in them. We have a lot of neat little things sitting around here. As you look right here to this old boy right here, he's got a sign on him that says gather. Gather is very true because you're bringing family together. You're gonna have the sit proper setting with a lot of neat things in your home. As you come into your house, the setting outside is gonna be a, a, a very attractive. You're gonna be excited and people are gonna gather in that home and make it a great experience for the holiday season. It's all about family. It just looks like a magical wonderland there, doesn't it? And they happen to be here with us in studio. As I mentioned, Chris Zinsmeyer from Boyard's Greenhouse and Farm joining us here because there are so many great employees that are there doing wonderful yeah. things, but I love that you can get us involved. You have a lot of workshops going on. We do. We have a lot this year. Um, we've had a real demand for them. And um, they're, not only do you get to make really cool stuff and learn how to do it, but you can also bring your friends and family and really make it like a nice little little date night or just something to do with your girlfriends or your or your parents or whoever. Well, that puts you in the holiday spirit then too. And this is the kind of thing I would rather do than stress out over buying gifts. Be right. like, well, let's go do a workshop. So you're going to show us how to yeah. make something today. So this, what I'm going to demonstrate uh, quickly is our our live centerpiece. And this is something, these workshops will be happening. We have two of them 
with the red vase mm -hmm. coming up and then one with a little galvanized pot that we have there. Um, those are coming up next week. We wait a little bit to do these because these are going to be inside and we want them to be very fresh, very fragrant. And we've added in this year, along with our traditional holiday greens and everything, we've added in some really trendy elements with the magnolia leaves, the juniper branches, just some neat different things, the eucalyptus kind of add a different feel, but still be holiday tradition. Still put you in the, the spirit of yes. Christmas. And I see that, you know, they're mentioning the plaid. The plaid, clearly we have on display here as well. There are some great, beautiful display. I'll let you get started with this one though, and you can show us how it's how easy it supposedly is. It I is. bet it is though, right? So, so what we started with was a piece of oasis. Um, this is just a piece of like floral foam and we've wet it mm -hmm. and we've put it down into our centerpiece. Um, and what I started here with this one to just get get it started was I started just putting in some of my spruce tips. So I just have some of these that I've already pre-cut and we just simply put them down into the oasis. I'm just showing you how it goes in there. It sticks in very easily. But this one I've started with the centerpiece and some side pieces. So I start with the spruce and then I start in adding in the other elements, the juniper. I have a little bit of cedar that I've cut that's really nice and these are all very fragrant. We've added in some little white pine tips. So we just go around and kind of make it equal. Um, and these all just, some of them soften up the, the spruce. And these are just some pine tips I'm adding in. So I added those in and I've added in we have these little juniper branches we can add in. This and we, I just awesome. sort of turn it as I go to mm -hmm. make sure it looks even. And then I'm gonna put in some of the really cool elements with the eucalyptus that we have. And you can make this more full. They all come out differently when you're making them yourself. Your own creation. It is, and that's what makes it even more fun is because it's your, you know, you've really made it. And, and that, you've learned to do it. So. That can be great for you to put at home at your own house, but then, in a way, it's it's great, I think, to give as a gift. It was something you did, kind of handmade, that exactly. you can offer up to someone it's as well. It's really from the heart. You're like, here, I put some, some time into this, and I, I want you to have it. So this is, is this the workshop that we're going to be talking about here that we have right now that's going on? We will, we, yeah, t tonight is the porch pot one. We have one tonight. The porch pots are Which are, are the big awesome. pots with the birch, and we have some of those going on. This is going to be, these are starting next week. And we have a whole list, if you follow us on Facebook and Instagram, which is like we are updating every day on there. And we have a whole list of all of our workshops that are mm -hmm. coming up and um, you so know what you need to do. Pots, you can make these wreaths, centerpieces, centerpieces, wreaths. There was a wreath workshop that we've held. So, but um, the one that we have right now for to remind you of is December 12th from six, six to, seven, to seven. And that is $29 a person. Mm -hmm. and, and you're making this a centerpiece, tablescape yes. centerpieces. And you can, you can add, we have so many elements even at um, where the workshops are held at our greenhouse that you can add in. We, we have other kinds of berries. You can make it match your decor, whatever. We have different containers you can use. Um, but like you can add in little berry pieces, any any element that you want to really make it your own. So go to boyarts.com too, if, again, because they have a lot of different workshops going mm -hmm. on. So depending on what day you go, they probably have something happening. So give them a call in advance and then and I have some great things too while you're there. Yeah, we can also do, if you have a private party, like eight to 10, we can also do whatever workshop you would like. And we're still doing all of that and like putting it together. Thank you so much for oh, coming. Thank you for